Hello everyone! Welcome to Cuck Me Crips Coding Class. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the Wikipedia API to search for Wikipedia and get some results. So, if I go on here and search for ray tracing, and I click on search because I was too lazy to make it work if you pressed enter. Look at that! It's all of the Wikipedia articles that pr permanently mention ray tracing, and if you click on it, there it is, on Wikipedia. Look at this nice ray traced image here. Okay, let's get started. All right. So, to get started, pop open your text editor, or whatever you prefer to use to write HTML. And we're going to start with a doc type tag, of course gonna be nice and proper here then make a title tag to give your page a title I'm just gonna call it Wikipedia search you're going to make a script tag and inside it you're going to make a new function function search up that's what I'm going to call it, in parentheses, S, for the string. Open curly braces, and then inside of it, you're going to make a variable called IDs, var IDs equals, and open quotes and close quotes so that we already know that it is a string. Cool. Var links equals, and open square brackets and then close them so that JavaScript recognizes it as an array. We need to do this so that it'll work later. We can manipulate it as if it were an array. And then var results equals, again, do the same thing as the last variable, square brackets, to make it be an array. Cool. Now, this is the exciting part. We're going to use the web fetch API. So type fetch in parentheses, open quotes, and then I'll put a link in the description, but I'm just going to type it in here. HTTPS colon slash slash EN, or whatever language you want to use if you don't want to use English. Equals, end quote, plus S. So that's what we're searching for. Cool. Close parentheses. Don't put a semicolon at the end of this line because we're going to add a couple dot thens. Cool. Dot then, open parentheses response equals sign greater than sign open curly braces return response dot json open parentheses close parentheses you can put a semicolon at the end of this line close curly braces and close parentheses but don't put a semicolon at the end of this line because we're not done with the dot thens dot then Open parentheses, response again. Equal sign greater than sign, open curly braces. And then inside of it, results. That's the variable we made up here. Equals result dot query dot search. So this is all of our search results, and I'm putting them in a variable called results so that we can access them more easily later on. Cool. Now make a for loop. For, open parentheses, var i equals zero. So we're making a variable called i that is equal to zero. Semicolon, space, the semicolon is important. This is one of those semicolons you can't forget. i is less than results dot length. So it will keep running through this loop if i is still less than results.length, semicolon, space, i++. plus plus. So each time it runs through the loop, it will add one to i. Cool. Open cur curly braces. And then inside, put if, open parentheses, results, open square brackets, i plus one isn't null, exclamation mark equals null, close parentheses, 
open curly braces. Then IDS plus equals results I plus open quotes and put in this character that is above the backslash on a standard US keyboard. I don't know what it's called. It's like a straight line that goes up and down and it kind of looks like a capital I, but it's not a capital I. This is important for later. Semicolon, close parentheses. I mean curly braces, don't close parentheses. There's no parentheses to close yet. Else, so if this is the last one in the sequence, then IDS plus equals results I, uh, results in square brackets I. And this way, it'll add one of these thingies if it's not the last one, and otherwise it won't. Cool. Now we can close the curly braces again. Then we can close them again and close parentheses because we've just finished this dot then. But wait! Don't add a semicolon. No semicolons quite yet. No. There's another dot then. Dot then. Open parentheses. And you can put whatever you want in here. I'm just going to put an A because that's one character. It's the first letter of the alphabet, so it doesn't take up much space. We're not going to be using it. Just needs to be there, okay? Equals sign greater than symbol open curly braces and inside of it we are going to be fetching another Wikipedia endpoint fetch open parentheses open quotes and I'll put a link to this one in the description too but anyway we're gonna put in another Wikipedia endpoint and I'll type it in here but you can just copy paste from the description if you want https colon slash slash en or whatever language you want dot wikipedia end quote plus ids that variable we made a for loop for up there you see the reason that we need to put in between each id one of these characters whatever it's called is because that's how you separate all the ids you want to search for on wikipedia Otherwise, you would have to do a ton of searches, one for each ID, and it would be slower and more inconvenient. So Wikipedia allows you to put multiple IDs, and you split them with that character. Okay, cool. I don't know why I put a semicolon in there. Don't put a semicolon. Close parentheses. Don't add a semicolon after the parentheses. Dot then. Open parentheses. ID result equals sign, greater than sign, open curly braces, and on the next line, return id result dot json, open parentheses, close parentheses. Cool. You can add a semicolon at the end of this line. But not this next line. Close curly braces and close parentheses. Now, another dot then. Dot then, open parentheses, ID result, same as the last one, equal sign, greater than sign, curly braces, and then for, in parentheses, I in ID result dot query dot pages, close parentheses, open curly braces, on the next line, links dot push in parentheses id result dot query dot pages in square brackets i close square brackets dot full URL and add a semicolon after closing parentheses. Then close curly braces, then close curly braces again and close parentheses, but don't add a semicolon. Not yet. Another dot then function. Here we go. Dot then. This tutorial is going to get you really familiar with using dot then. 
I'm just going to put like a G in there because it's just one character. You have to have some kind of variable there, but it doesn't matter what it is in this case because we're not going to be using it. And then greater than sign, open curly braces, and then inside document dot get element by ID open parentheses output close quotes close parentheses dot inner HTML with a capital HTML equals open quotes close quotes this clears out all the HTML of the output div that we're going to create in a little bit ignore that text message ignore it for in parentheses var I equals zero semicolon I is less than results dot length semicolon I plus plus close parentheses open curly braces and then finally document dot get element by ID open parentheses output and quotes close quotes close parentheses dot inner HTML with a capital H T M and L equals open quotes a make an a tag href equals open a different kind of quotes so in this case I opened double quotes so you're gonna open so I'm gonna open single quotes here and then close double quotes plus links in square brackets I plus open those double quotes again and then close the single quotes you opened earlier target equals open single quotes if you open double quotes otherwise open double quotes underscore blank that will open it in a new tab which you probably want I mean it's not super important but you know and then greater than sign close double quotes plus results in square brackets I dot title plus open double quotes and close the a tag slash a cool now make a line break tag br and then pl close quotes plus results open square brackets i close square brackets dot snippet plus open quotes again and make a line break close quotes and add a semicolon at the end now just close curly braces now close curly braces again and close parentheses and you can add a semicolon and then close curly braces and parentheses again and add a semicolon and finally close curly braces and close the script tag we're done with the JavaScript now just have to make an input a button and an output div make an input tag input let's give it the ID of input close quotes that's all you have to do there now make a button tag button on click equals open quotes search up because that's what we called the function up there search up open parentheses and then we're gonna do document dot query selector with a capital S open parentheses open a different kind of quotes that you opened for the on click hashtag input close those quotes and those parentheses and finally close the last parentheses and close the double quotes oh and actually after the hash input and close parentheses put a dot value
That was my mistake, sorry. I forgot to do that. And then inside the button tag, just put search and close that button tag. Cool. Now, all you have to do is make a div, div id equals open quotes, output, close quotes, and then close the div tag. That's all you need to do. Now save that file. Okay, wikipedia video.html. Awesome. Now, pop open your favorite browser, which is probably Firefox. Hopefully Firefox. Find the file on your computer. And drag it into a new tab. All right, looking good so far. We've got our search button and our little input tag. Let's type something in. Let's do JavaScript, since we're using that language. And click on search. And nothing happens. I love it when it doesn't work. Let's have a look. So all the way here, at the very beginning, I accidentally made the first dot then function I mean, the second dot then function says response, but all the variables inside it say result. So if you made the same mistake, or you, if you caught it, good for you, I didn't, just change that to result so that, you know, it matches up with the variable names inside the dot then. Cool. Save that, reload in the browser, close that console, and let's search for JavaScript and see if it works. Still doesn't work. Let's see what else is wrong. So remember up here in this for loop, the very first one, where I said IDs plus equals results I. Well, it was actually supposed to be results I dot page ID. That's a pretty big mistake. So don't make the same mistake I did. Put results I dot page ID in your function. All right, save that. Reload in the browser. Hit search, and it still doesn't work. Here's the one last mistake. At the very end here, this last for loop, I said output.html equals this, but actually it should be plus sign equals the thing. Save that, reload in the browser, close that console, and let's search. Look at that! As you can see, it works. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Buy my merch. And if anybody here knows how to make OBS on Windows not look like trash when you record video, because it looks fine when streaming, but it looks like trash when recording video, leave a comment. I tried changing the bitrate. It did not help. Leave a comment if you know how to fix it. It would be super helpful. Play Oat Clicker, the greatest game on the planet. And look, I unlocked a bunch of stuff. And remember that even your Mac can boot Linux.